Well, let's get this out of the way. This is a clone of Smash Brothers. It borrows heavily from what Smash does in the sense of having four players at once, simple button attacks, and it's a crossover with Sony's franchises. There are differences, yes, such as how you get points and you can't charge up a Smash attack, which I'll go into later, but at its core, it was made to be Sony's version of Smash Brothers. But does that mean this game will suck? I don't think so. I mean, not all clones are bad. In fact, sometimes there are clones that are better than the original. Will this be better than Smash Brothers? In my honest opinion, no. First, I'll say what they're doing right. The stages try to mix two different franchises together. For example, you have the Metropolis stage from Ratchet and Clank in the foreground, and then sometimes the background will change to the Hydras from God of War. At one point, I saw Captain Quark get eaten by the Hydra. That was awesome, and it really shows how two different franchises can come together. I hope the next Smash Brothers does not do this, because then it would seem like Nintendo would copy Sony, and that should never happen. I do, however, want the characters to interact a little more in the next Smash Brothers instead of just in cutscenes, such as having Ike say something like, You'll get no sympathy from me, Link, so it at least feels like they're addressing each other instead of just a phrase that can be directed at anyone. Maybe even team-based attacks depending on who you're partnered with. Anyway, moving on. Sony said that they will listen to their fans and will try to put in characters that the fans want, including third-party characters. I wish Nintendo would do that for us instead of just assuming these are the characters that would work the best or the ones that they think we want the most. I do like how they are embracing third-party characters, while some Nintendo fans still think that Smash should only be for Nintendo characters. As long as they follow those third-party guidelines and they've had a long history with Nintendo, then I don't see what the problem is. Whether Sony is making this because they wanted some of Smash's success, or because the fans wanted them to make a game like this, at least they are listening to their fans. Now for why I think Smash Bros. will still come out on top. For the most part, it all comes down to one very important element. In Battle Royale, it's not about sending your opponent off the screen or stamina meter. It's about attacking your opponents to build up a special gauge, then unleash a powerful attack. <coughs> Final Smash. <coughs> not so long. You then use to attack your opponents that killed them, which then gets you points and your opponents respawn, rinse and repeat. So no matter how hard you hit them, they won't go flying, and I don't think it's going to feel all that satisfying. Or at least that's the way I see it since I haven't played a demo of it. When you knock out an opponent in Smash, you get those big explosions that just feel so SATISFYING! But looking at the footage for All-Stars, it looks pretty meh when they die. Also, in Battle Royale, characters do not have chargeable attacks. Well, some characters might later on, but the ones that we know about don't have any of them. Whereas in Smash Brothers, you can strategically plan a charge attack and then release it, and if you hit them, they go flying, and it just feels so... It feels so good! Whereas I don't think Battle Royale is going to have that specific element, and... That's also another key factor. It all comes down to how the player connects with the game and how they feel when they deliver that finishing blow. But who knows? Well, at the time this video was made, there's very little known about Battle Royale. So let me just say this. Sony should at the very least say that this game was inspired by Smash and just be honest about it instead of not giving credit where credit is due. I don't think this game will be bad, but I don't think it will play better than Smash Brothers. And no, just because it has Sony characters, or if it possibly has Sora, that does not mean it is better than Smash. Just that you like it more than Smash. Remember, facts are facts, opinions are opinions, never confuse the two.